Hi folks, thanks for joining me again. I'm Stephen Crone, this is another watercolour demo. Um, gone for the, the Scottish Highlands today. Um, like, like a sort of mountain range, got our little man here, just stood on this prominent rock here, just gazing across this lovely view we've got. So let me show the colours I've used for this one before we start painting. We've got ultramarine, lemon yellow, raw sienna, burnt umber and light red. And most of it done with the large height brush and then a couple of riggers, a, a zero and a number three. Right, let's kick it off with a bit of water as I often do. And then some bright colours. Let's just clean that yellow up a little bit. And then I'm going to go a bit of raw sienna. A brown, red, and then a little bit of blue. I'm just going to start putting in some distant, distant mountain. Actually, just lift, lift it a little bit higher than that. I think. That's the most distant ones. Let's just make, now I just want something in front of those, a little bit higher. Let's just dip the tips in just to get the ears back together. And I just want to create just a, a hint of a, of the, of the water down there. So I'll just get that. Like Although I haven't quite got the same colour, I ain't going to worry about that just yet. Now coming further forward. If I just make that a little bit stronger, so coming slightly closer and closer. Trying to get the impression of like mountains just coming up. So we've got a big one there in the foreground, well, not in the foreground, but a little bit closer there. Let's clean the brush, just want to get a little bit lighter now. Bit of raw sienna. Let's just get that flat against the board before I go any further. Just thinking about what else I'm going to do in the middle ground. Give it a quick dry. No, I just didn't want that going any worse because I've took my eye off it then for a second. Right now, because it's dry, that means I can get that tones on even stronger now. Um, even if we go a 
we sort of go up like that. Might even give it a quick scrape. Does it need a scrape? Does it look like I'll just do that? That'll do actually, not too bad. And again, let's just get back to a little bit lighter. Lemon yellow, a bit of raw sienna. Clean the brush. Back into some raw sienna. It's a touch of burnt umber. And I'm just sort of dancing around the palette, trying to get a bit of variation in the colours. Let's bring this right down. Put your light red in there as well. sort of colour Light. I don't want to get too mad with this scraping. If I just clean the brush again and just push up a little bit of, little bit of green up into there. Just clean the brush again, so a little bit of Push 
Just a little bit of grain to this as well. Not too much, just a little bit. I'm going to add a few little darks, I think, down the bottom somewhere. I think what I might do is just re wet the sky area and just try and add a bit more vibrancy up there. Um, if I just wet, just wet that little bit there. And then a bit of red, yellow. If those clouds have added anything, to be honest with you, I'm just going to wipe them out. I should stop faffing with it, really, but it's, it's hard to resist. Still not happy with it. I'm going to continue to faff around with it. I'm going to wet that again. Wet it all again. Right.
So I'll just pause it for a sec there while I, I faff around with this foreground. Um, all I've done, just added a few little darks and just stuck a little figure. I'll, I'll show you the close up in a minute. Um, I think I'm going to, I'm going to leave it at that for now. Um, maybe just a little bird somewhere. Just a little bird. Just up there, I'm going to, I'm just going to sign that one now and call it finished. So, Take a little bit of red. Um, I'm just going to sign it down there. Right, let's grab the mountain. See what it looks like with the mountain. So here's the painting in its mount. So we're going to have a closer look at it. Add two or three goes at getting the sky. What I wanted was this sort of orangey effect with the sort of light coming from the sensor, which I used the. the uh, damp brush just to take that, that bit of light in the middle. Um, just added a little bit of colour, I don't know if that's worked or not. It was light, I did leave that white, that's meant to be like a bit of water there but it sort of got like, lost amongst the, the landscape. That looks a bit of a mess, could have done a better job with that. A um, bit of clean tissue might have helped I think, quite dirty. Um, or, well it, it's done now, I'm gonna, I ain't going to worry about it. Um, then try to get a bit of textures and lighten the, the more distant mountains and then come in stronger and stronger as we come forward. Use the card there just to scrape a bit of, bit of rock out, just catch the light, just catching the edge of those rocks there. Coming through into the foreground and then you can see off camera, um, just put a few darks in there and then just so that the little man showed up, I just lighten that background a little bit just to make him a little bit more prominent. So that's it for this one, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks always for watching, for your support. Do join me over on patreon.com if you get the chance. Um, until next time, if you've got any questions, please ask, keep practicing, and I'll see you again soon.